If there's one thing about Far Harbor that you can really appreciate is the ambience when the fog has rolled over and it's just quite, you know, late at night. You can find all sorts wandering about. This wee albino radstag is one such creature. If we turn the lights off we can see it's, uh, it's enjoying a bit of a midnight stroll. Today we are exploring Gilly Beach, which is actually the real life location of Gilly Beach. Now, anyone that hasn't seen previous videos, let me explain that Huntress Island is actually called Little Cranberry Island in real life. Beside, of course, you know, Cranberry Island. And right here, exactly where we are, if you go on Google Maps, you'll find Gilly Beach. It looks like a very nice place to visit. But for us, we've got a little cooler life preserver and some, well, skeletons. Let's see what sort of story we can pick from this. They are both holding their fish, actually physically holding fish, which, hmm, newsboy cap. Maybe they were cooking something and they were suddenly attacked. These could be pre-war, you know, people, maybe when the nukes went. That it just obliterated this part or a massive wave could have smashed into them. Although given their position, it's not clear. Maybe they succumbed to radiation. Although given the blue tarp tent that we see all over the Commonwealth, these things could have been placed at virtually any point in the war. But given the wildlife, radiation and general dangers, these guys, well, they didn't last too long. Were they maybe eating the fish as like their last meal? You can pick up a newsboy cap. I've not seen too many of them. I know Piper has a press one. Uh, let's see, does it... One charisma, is that all it does? I wonder is this like a particularly rare item? The answer to that is no. It's actually much more common, but it's on a lot of NPCs, which is why I personally have just never really picked one up. If you need to make use of the cooking station, do so before venturing up top. Huntress Island is crawling with Yao Gwai and very dangerous wildlife, so when you're here, you know, do be careful as it won't take long till you could be at the bottom of the food chain instead of the top. We can also find plenty of wolves around Huntress Laundromat here that we looked at in a previous video. Now this island isn't finished, we have plenty more to look at. I'll catch us all in the next one. Thank you for watching.